A young boy, Michael, is sitting in his room, playing with his Lego. He seems to be having a gala time engrossed in his own world. But, something is not right. He is clearly troubled, and his face is filled with pain. The room is dark and gloomy, and the only light comes from a single candle. Little boy tries to relive few happy moments with his parent. One day Michael, a young boy, was going on a road trip for a vacation with family. Michael was enjoying the picnic with his parents by the snow-covered mountain peak. Nothing could make him any more happier than this moment. While returning from the trip it was dark night. The car hit a tree and burst into flames. Michael and his father barely survived. How can everything go so wrong in the blink of an eye? What did I do to deserve this? Who will sing me the lullaby before going to sleep? My father is always so busy with his business travels. Michael said to himself, I wish I could just forget everything. A few years later, Michael is now an adult. He is still troubled, and he suffers from extreme anxiety. He is sitting in his room, rocking back and forth, and he is clearly in a lot of pain. The room is still dark and gloomy, but there is now a storm raging outside. The wind is howling, and the rain is beating against the windows. Michael thought to himself, I can't take this anymore. Michael's stepmother, a cruel woman, is watching him from the doorway. She is pleased to see that he is suffering. She is wearing a black dress, with nicely combed hair. Stepmother said to herself, this is exactly what I wanted. Michael has grown from a teenager to a man now. Michael is now married to a kind and compassionate woman named Megale. She is a music teacher, and her music has a healing effect on Michael. They are sitting in a meadow, and the sun is shining brightly. Megale is playing a flute, and Michael is listening to the music with a peaceful expression on his face. Megale said to Michael, just listen to the music. Let it wash away all your pain. Michael is painting again. He is no longer troubled, and he is filled with joy. He is painting a picture of Megale, and he is smiling as he works. Michael said to himself, thank you, Megale. You saved me. Michael's stepmother is not happy to see that he is healing. She tries to sabotage his marriage, but Megale stands by her husband. They are in a restaurant, and Michael's stepmother is trying to start a fight between them. Stepmother said to Michael you'll never be happy with her. She's not good enough for you. Megale said to Michael's stepmother, I am good enough for him. And I will never let you hurt him again.
Michael's father finally learns the truth about his wife. Michael's father was distressed when he figured out that his wife was forging papers to get Michael out of the will. He knew exactly what to do next. Michael's father is furious, and he throws her out of the house. Michael and Megale are standing in the doorway, watching as his stepmother is escorted away by the police. Michael's father said to Michael's stepmother, You are a monster. You are no longer welcome in this house. Michael and Megale are now living happily together. They have opened up several hospitals and schools for mentally disturbed kids to heal. They are standing in the courtyard of one of the hospitals, and they are surrounded by children. The children are laughing and playing, and Michael and Megale are smiling. Michael said to Megale, thank you for everything. You are my everything. Megale said to Michael the first love you too. Michael is now a famous painter. His paintings are displayed in museums all over the world. He is standing in front of one of his paintings, and he is looking at it with pride. Michael thought to himself I never thought I would be happy. But now I know that love heals all pain.